Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Allie and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys a thrifting clothing haul. Now this is going to be all fall clothes, some for my kids, some for my husband, some for me. Majority is it of it is for our kids. So a little bit of, I wanna go ahead and say this before I start is, Hold up, my back hurts. So I do want to say this before you start, before you start, before I start you guys, and I feel like it's so important that I stress this is don't watch these haul videos and these YouTubers, especially bigger YouTubers, and I feel like you always have to have the newest things or that you always have to buy what's on a trend because a fact of the matter is you can make stuff that you already have in your own like like in your work like you can make stuff that you currently have in your wardrobe and revamp it and make it for what's on a trend right now so that's the first thing i am somebody who i love to save money i love to get the biggest bang for my buck and if that means i'm going thrifting then i'm going thrifting like my shan uh, haul was fun and everything but fact of the matter is i'm not always buying brand new clothes unless we have the money to do so nine times out of ten and i've been like this since brian and i have gotten married i love to go to plato's closet and i love shopping clearance racks that's just what i do and so don't be afraid of the clearance racks because a lot of the times you will find stuff that's coming up for the current like the season that the season that's coming up and things that are on trend currently so my number one way to save money is to always shop when there's sales and if you go to a place like plato's closet or once upon a child and those are sister stores um plato Clo plato's closet and once upon a child so once upon a child is basically like the kids version of plato's closet and they do have sales all the time as well as whenever you shop you get points and that goes towards money off so if you didn't know now you know check out your local thrifting stores and see or resale store secondhand store i don't know what else to call it and see if they have rewards programs and see what they may have now the only thing that sucks about hauls that are thrifting is like you guys can't just go and find this stuff and buy it but you can check out your local stores because most thrifting stores like plato's closet they only um they only accept what's what's on a trend at the moment. So if you're buying it, more than likely it is on trend because they don't take stuff that's out of, like that's like not popular at the time. So yeah, this is gonna be a little bit different. I never show you guys like my clothing haul for my kids. So their portion won't be a try on portion, but my portion will be try on. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. And you guys, I only spent 200 bucks on all of this. So keep in mind that this is clothing for my entire family. It wasn't just for me, it was for my entire family. So let's just go ahead and get into this haul. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the kids clothes. And I'm starting with what I got for Bryson. So I found a Bryson this super cute Carter, Carter's vest. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know, you don't get any cuter than this. And this vest was only $3.50. So I was like, oh, okay, once upon a child, like look, like look how good the condition is on this. And I only paid three bucks for this. Like I guarantee you, if you bought this at, Cla at Carter's brand new, you were paying upwards of 20 bucks. So that is pretty cool. So the next thing I did go ahead and get for Bryson are these children's or no, these are Wrangler. So these are some Wrang Wrangler khaki pants and I only paid $3.50 for these. And majority of the clothes for Bryson and his older brother, baby Brian, um, which is Brian's, um, which is my stepson. So, but since they're kids, you guys, don't feel like you have to buy your kids brand new stuff. They're gonna grow out of it so fast and probably tear it up. And stores like Once Upon a Child are very picky about what they take. So it's usually pretty good quality. So like I said, I did go ahead and pick up these khaki pants in for $3.50 as well. And I actually had a lot of luck shopping for my boys this time because usually I don't have any luck going and shopping for my boys. So, and then the next thing I did pick up were these black skinny jeans from Children's Place for Bryson. And these were only $5.50. So I thought these were super cute. And then I did pick up these 
blue jean style joggers for him. I don't know, they just seemed like, I don't know, I just liked these because I bought these same exact ones as you'll see for his older brother and these were $3.50 as well. Okay, the next thing I picked up were these old navy straight-legged pants for Bryson and these were only $4.50, believe it or not. And I'm telling you, you guys, the quality on these is like brand spanking new, like such good quality. And like I said, I'm not paying more than $6 for these pants, you know, like I think the most expensive thing I bought was $9.50 and wait till you see that. Okay, and then I got these Oshkosh Bagosh pants for Bryson and these are their skinny jeans and these were $5.50 as well. Like, I don't know, are you guys in awe yet of the quality for this kid's clothes for the price? Like my lanta so the cutest thing i bought for bryson is this um and is it this jean jacket i thought that this was super cute you guys and i only paid 450 for this like 450 he is gonna be so cute in this whenever you see the outfits that i put together with this like i don't know maybe i'll instagram them i don't know i should create my boys their own little fashion instagram page because they be on point y'all like on point <laughs> So the next thing, this is Brian's favorite thing that I ended up finding, and this is an Oshkosh Bagosh sweater, and it just looks like this. I thought this was so cute, and it is long sleeve. It's pretty thick too, and this was only $4.50 as well. Okay, the next thing I got Bryson, because like when I tell you we had to revamp all of Bryson's clothes, I mean revamp all of it. I bought him a couple of things at the beginning of summer, so I bought him like five shirts, and all of his shorts from last summer fit him because I like shorts just last longer on the boys for some reason. I don't know why. I, I don't know. It's weird. It's the strangest thing, but the shorts on the boys last forever. So I did have to buy him shirts, but not shorts. But for fall and just for next year in general, I had to revamp like his whole wardrobe. So that's why I'm, it was very important that I did find deals. And then I did just pick up this plaid shirt for him. It's not flannel filling. Yeah, I guess a little bit, but this was only $3.50 as well. Okay, and then the next thing I got, just because this is honestly, just because this is my favorite color, I picked up this shirt. This is a Walmart brand, but you guys, I only paid $1.50 for this shirt. And even though it's Walmart brand, look at how good the quality is. Like that quality is just so good. Like I, I, I don't know, guys, I just can't get over the quality and like the condition that it's in for the price that i'm paying it's like brand new okay so brian and i were joking about this and since my boys were little i've always bought them this style of shirt and so every time it's time to take them like to the next level like the next size up i still manage to find and buy them the shirt so this shirt is always in their wardrobe or like this style not this exact shirt but like this style like the black and red uh plaid and this one was 350 as well and this is the h&m brand so yeah okay this next one is i don't know what what this health text shirt and i don't know like i just thought that these colors were so fall but like kind of summery at the same time and a lot i have a lot of button-ups because as you guys know we do go to church a lot and so this was only 350 as well but i just thought that these colors were really cute together and really, I don't know, I just liked this shirt for him. So the next thing I found for Bryson was this Gap shirt. And I liked it because it had a lining on the inside that was kind of warm. So this is going to be great for winter. And besides, I just love the denim look. And this was $5.50. So this was the most expensive shirt that I bought for Bryson. And I just thought it was so stinking cute. Okay, so now we're stepping into a few shirts that I got Ethan because he was he's pretty set on pants from last year and joggers because we did buy them a teensy bit too big for him last year. That wasn't intentional, it was kind of an accident. So a lot of his pants are still gonna fit him this year as well as he did have like a couple shirts from last year. And then I picked up a couple shirts from Target um, recently for fall for him. So I did go ahead and just pick him up a couple more and then we're just kind of asking his dad to get him more of it so the first thing i got ethan was just this jumping bean shirt right here and this was retailed for 250 and it's just that nice like thermal um feel 
And I don't know, I just like the way the boys look in these with some joggers or even just some jeans and some tennis shoes. It's really cute. So I did go ahead and get that for Ethan. And then I did find him this jumping beans again. So this jumping bean again, this is a size six as well. This flannel shirt. And this one was $2.50 as well. I just, I don't know. I love the boys in flannel and things like this, especially Ethan. Like he just looks so cute. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I got are some more button-ups because he is, his arms are getting a little bit too long for the current button-ups that he has. And I do make them work through the summer. So like if, they're, if their arms are too long for them during the summertime, I just kind of do like the roll, rolled up casual style. And I'll throw like their Adidas on with them or like their Vans or something like that. And so yeah, this, this is the... Carter's brand and this is just gray and white and this one was $3.50. Okay, and like I told you guys, all the boys have this style shirt. This one's a little more gray than it is at black, but it'll do. And so this one was Oshkosh Bagosh and this one was $4.50. And so this is a Carter shirt that I got for him. I also do always restock this shirt for the boys. I just couldn't find it for Bryson. Um, I'm sure if I go back here soon, I'll be able to find it, but this is, only $3.50 from the Carter's brand. Okay, and then the last thing I got for Ethan was this shirt right here. And this was the label of Graded Goods brand. And I don't know, I thought the color was good for fall and he never he hasn't had anything like this, but yeah, I just thought it would be really cute on Ethan. And this one was a $4.50. Okay, so now we're going into the clothes for my stepson and his was a little bit harder to find really good condition for so he didn't get as much pants but he got a ton of shirts at really good prices and like you know how every kid has their own style like this like <laughs> my stepson is more of like an outside type of person and so like you need kind of stuff that he can be outside in because he just loves playing outside and so i did i like these old navy pants and these were 450 and these are just the black pants that are meant to be faded I was like, that's just so him. Like, he just seems like your typical, like, country man. So, outdoorsy man. So, I did go ahead and pick these up for him. And these were $4.50. And those are the Old Navy brand. And then I did find him these sweats. And these are the Old Navy brand as well. Super good condition. They're black. They're not faded at all. And these were $4.50. All right, so the next thing I got him were these okie dokie pants and these just gray sweatpants. And I like the tapered bottom for sweatpants. I just couldn't find any black ones like that, but these retail or these were $4.50 as well. And then I just got him some plain old blue ones. So these are just the plain old Hanes brand. And the Hanes is a pretty good brand as well, especially for winter. So these were $4.50 and I really, really like these. I don't know, they just seem cozy. Like when you think of fall, do you think of trying to be cute or do you think like cozy cute? Cause I definitely think of like cozy cute and especially for my boys too. And the only time we're really getting dressed up, dressed up is like for me and Brian, it's usually always date night. And for the boys, like it, like it's always like date night or church or like some kind of event. Okay, and so these are the Cat and Jack brand, and these were $4.50. And you can usually find these at Target for about around the same price. So yeah, same thing, tapered in, and I just really love this color. It's like such a cozy comfort color for fall. And then, like I said, he got the same pants that Bryson got, only his cost a little bit more. So his were $5.50. Just super cute pants. And then I did get him because his mom was very specific on like what he wanted. So I got him like some lightweight stuff and then I got him stuff that was like double lined. And so some thicker stuff. And this, these were only $4.50. And like I said, I'm sure her, his mom is gonna love this stuff because this is like her style and his style as well. So these were $4.50. Okay, so I got this, found this shirt, brand new. This is the Granimals brand. And so brand new, this would have been $4.48 at Walmart. I paid $2.50 for it. So I got it just about half off. So, and it just says it's all all good in the woods. I was like, that is so, I don't know. It's just so funny to me, all good in the woods. I don't know, I'm weird. <laughs> uh, I guess because people say it's all good in the hood, all good in the woods. Oh my God, shut up, Allie. <laughs> and then I just got him some thicker sweatshirts like this that she could probably throw like some white tees underneath or something and he'll be super warm. 
and this was the Granimals brand and this was only $2.50. You guys, I'm gonna keep saying this because for whatever reason, once upon a child, their stuff looks brand spanking new. So yeah, this was only $2.50 for this one. Okay, and then this was Granimals as well, you guys. Super good quality, not a stain. It's not even faded. And I only paid $1.50 for this. And then the next one I got him, because I got him quite a few of these. Because like I said, she wanted some thick, some thin. So like some for fall type weather and then some for really cold weather. And so I got him this one. This one's an athletic brand, I guess. And this one was only $3.50. I liked the sleeves and like how it's kind of like the baseball style, like lighter and darker. Thought that was super cute. Okay. And then I got him this one, which is the ladies love me. I just thought that that was cute. And then it's gray, basic color can match with anything. And that was $3.50. And that was the Joe Boxer brand. I haven't seen Joe Boxer in forever. Okay, and then I just got him at this Batman shirt. And then when I got home, Brian informed me that he's more of a fan of the Flash. Whoops, my bad. But this one was only $3.50. And then in comes the nicer stuff um, that he can wear like with his jeans and stuff. And this one is an old navy top, and this one was $3.50 as well. And it's just like a knitted top, super soft. Okay, and then I got him this Faded Glory, and this is like a thermal top too. And this one was only $2.50. And this one's super thick as well, so I'm excited. I'm glad he's going to be warm. I wish we could see him in all of this. Okay, so the next thing I got was another Old Navy top. Oh wow, I didn't even realize they were the same exact brand. But it's exactly like the other one, a knitted top, just a different color scheme. This one's more of like a deep red and navy blue. And this one was $3.50 as well. Okay, and then I got him this Monster Truck shirt. This is the Granimals brand, super cute. And this one was $2.50. I think he'll really like this shirt. And I got him a lot of thermals just because it's something easy. And you'll know they'll be warm. And then this is the 365 Kids brand. And I just, another thermal, same like baseball style type. And this one was $2.50. Okay, so the next thing I got was this jacket. So this one I got for like early fall, like whenever it starts to get cold, but it's not super cold. So like for like, so like 60s and 70s weather. And it's a little bit chilly out. This was $5.50, but mind you, I was able to buy it brand new. And I only paid $5.50 for it. And then the last thing I got was this heavier, like, winter coat. And you guys, when I tell you that this is heavy, like, this like this has some weight to it. So I thought this would be really good at keeping him warm. And this was the most expensive thing I bought. This is the Gap brand. And I only paid $9.50 for this jacket, you guys. Like, I just thought, like, that's so stinking cute. So that is it for the kids portion, you guys. So I spent 70 bucks on Bryson and Ethan and then 80 bucks on um, baby Brian. And so now we're gonna get into mine and Brian's stuff. I only got Brian a couple of things, um, but majority was it for me. And I'll be doing a try on portion for my clothes, just not for Brian's and the boys. So the first thing I got myself, and this was the most expensive thing I got myself was like this flannel type really really long shirt dress style and i only paid 10 bucks for this this is the passport brand and like i said this is, and i got it in an extra large i believe a 1x i got it in a 1x and it was oh i would lie this was only eight bucks and also you guys when you're watching this if you have a play-doh's closet by you go try them out all of their fall stuff they have a lot of fall stuff on clearance and it's all 50 percent off so that's another reason I went today. And so I did pick up this super cute sweater right here. And this was only $5. It's not bad. I'll have to wear a cami under it. I can already tell, but I mean, it's not bad to like keep you warm and it's cozy. Like, so yeah, got $5 for that. And it also has like these super cute zippers on the side right there. I don't know, just super cute, super duper cute. Super cute. This um, Charlotte Russe sweater, and I paid and I paid five bucks for this one too. And I got this one in a two X because I thought it might kind of be like off the shoulder and kind of croppish and just cute. The next thing I got was from Old Navy, and this is a really really long like cozy 
shirt and I thought it'd be cute with tights or jeans with some booties. And I only paid $2.50 for this, you guys. And this was from Old Navy. So this was super cute. I don't know, I'm excited. I like, I'm, I'm just like, give me all the fall vibes. So as you guys know, I love to balance like church style with casual style. So like the flannel can go casual or for church. And then like the other two sweaters are like business casual. And then these are my casual things right here. And this, I, this is a wild and fable in double XL. It's like a long sleeve crop. I thought that this would be really cute with a lot of my sweats or even my um, high-waisted leggings for the gym or anything like that. And so this is $10. I mean, sorry, got it for five because it was on clearance. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And then it just has some cute little like comfort cozy colors right there. And then the next thing I got was kind of another cropish like lightweight hoodie type deal for like that I could wear with sweats. Oh, and that was, yeah, I, I told you guys, that was 2X. This one is a large. Like I said, I plan on wearing this one with sweats. And I got this one with for $2.50 as well. So super cute and light. And then for Brian, you guys are gonna, your, your guys' minds are gonna be blown when you see what I got for Brian. So I got him this super nice, thick Ralph Lauren polo sweater. And like I said, this is good quality, you guys. No stains, it's still super black. Like it's not even faded. And this was only 12 bucks. 12 flipping dollars. So freaking nice. And then I found him this hoodie, this Nike hoodie, and this is their dry fit line. Super black, great condition. And it was only 16 bucks. Like you guys, the steals that I found today. So yeah, now I'm going to do the try on portion of this. I mean, like, I have to stop filming. Try all of it on and film myself trying it on so that way you guys can see. But yeah, that is it for today's video, you guys. Like I said, I just wanna encourage you guys, be wise with your money. Um, don't try to keep up with the Joneses because the Joneses are gonna leave you broke. So just start where you're at, find out ways that are affordable for you and your family. Like I said, we have a family of six that we're having to shop for for every season if we grow out of something or something gets worn and torn so yeah you guys so just be wise and know that you don't always have to have the newest and the best things you can make do with what you got and just buy some secondhand stuff and you'll be all right so yeah i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more and i will see you guys and oh if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you Excuse me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.